Marsha Lambert is the executive director of the Isaiah 117 Project, and there's a concert coming up. Yay. It's good to see you again. Welcome good back. Good to see you. Thanks for having me. Tell us all about the concert. Sure. So this is our third annual For His Children concert, um, and this we're going to have Ryan Stevenson and Michael Cochran um, come July 27th to the Princeton Community High School. It's where we've had it every year. A little change this year. We're going to have it on a Saturday night in hopes that more people will be able to make it out, not miss church. What you had done on Sundays? Yeah, before. we've done it on Sundays before, so we're going to do it on Saturday, uh, 6 p.m., and uh, doors will open at 5, and a couple surprises. We're going to have a community choir, and, and um, it's going to be awesome. Just a great time to worship and celebrate as a community and to, to help kids in foster care. And do they do tickets at the door? Can they get, can they pre-sale? Um, we've got tickets available at the door still, um, and then we can pre-sale, go on itickets.com for his, and search for his children. You can find them that way, or they can get a hold of us on our Facebook page or even go out to the Gibson County, County Fair right now. We've got them available. Perfect, because the fair goes on through this weekend? Yes, absolutely. All right. Well, this yeah. is a good opportunity to enjoy the fair and then come out and get your tickets for the concert. Mm. All right. Let's talk about the work that you do and how long you've been doing it and why you are inspired to be a part of this project. Absolutely. So God laid this project on my heart a couple years ago, and it was one of those things we often do, and I said, not me, but it was me. <laughs> that uh, happens a lot, doesn't it? It does. So my, my husband and I have been foster family for many years and just saw kids coming in our home that really had nothing, and uh, God just started laying out on my heart what it would look like if we could help these kids in their most vulnerable moments, what it would look like if, you know, instead of scrounging for something to provide for their yeah. physical needs, what could we do if we spent more time on their emotional needs in that moment, you know, being able to focus on them. So we have um, three bags, one for infant toddler, one for youth and one for teens, very individualized for what they need. Um, and we work with local DCS. We've partnered with Gibson Community Ho or Gibson General Hospital and just uh, the like fire departments and different places, anywhere we can go that a kid may be potentially being taken um, in that moment from DCS or other agencies and, and get those kids a bag. And also obviously to help the foster families as well so they can focus on the kids as they come in. Anybody who's ever had foster children in the family you knows exactly what you're talking about. Yeah. So, uh how many, do we know how many kids are in foster care just in your area? Uh, you know, the numbers that we have the most are, are in Vanderburg County. Yeah. You know, there's over a thousand kids um, in, in the system That's right now. I mean, it's just it's, hard to imagine and many more that need. Absolutely. Yeah. And there's not enough homes. I think the count, the last count was like 150. Um, there's been a lot of push, you know, just one. Um, I think Wendy McNamara and some other people have yes. really been making a push to, to, you know, if we could just get one more foster home, that's one more kid. And, and that's even this, the, our logo. That's what that story is all about. If anybody knows the story of the starfish, it's about helping the one. Yes. Um, and so we, we feel called to do that with what we're doing is that we can all make a ripple effect if we help just one, it will, it'll ripple on to another. So um, it, it started just because there was just such a great need and, and um, we believe that we can, we can make a difference, you know, one at well, a time. You are making a difference. Yeah. I mean, you've been at this for a while. Yeah. And, and so tell folks who might not know what the scripture is. Sure. So um, it's uh, Isaiah 117, learn to, learn to do right, seek justice, defend the oppressed, take up the cause of the fatherless. Um, and, and that's what we feel like we're doing is taking up the cause of the fatherless. Uh, we serve in seven counties. We started two years ago, and so we're now in seven counties, all of our region in southern Indiana. Uh, we've packed over 3,300 bags, and our um, our cost is right at $130,000 a year. So this is a our concert's one of our biggest fundraisers, and then again, the the enjoyment of being able to worship together as a community and just celebrate. So brings a good light into the community and helps a lot of kids. Thank you for Thank what you. you do. So get your tickets for a great concert and also you can go out there and enjoy the fair. Yeah, all absolutely. right. And speaking of the fair, after the weather, we'll have all kinds of fair queens here. But then we have to have Ron Rhodes first. But he's sort of the key. He's the 